I'm gonna go over all of the ingredients for our cheesecake mousse. We're gonna use an eight ounce brick of cream cheese that is softened to room temperature, one cup of heavy cream, one half cup of powdered erythritol. This is a powdered sugar erythritol sweetener, but you can use whatever sweetener is your choice. Do you like to use uh, powdered stevia? Do you like to use a stevia erythritol blend or sucralose, aka Splenda? Go ahead and use that, it'll work fine. A um, quarter of a cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of lemon juice, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. This is going to whip up into a really delicious mousse consistency. It's going to kind of taste like a no-bake cheesecake. You can mix this with some strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and have a really lovely cheesecake mousse dessert, and it's gonna be super satisfying. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure our cream cheese is super soft, and we're gonna beat this until it's light and fluffy. Okay, you just want to get that going and then we're going to add our sour cream. Go ahead and beat that in. I'm just going to knock down the sides here. Then we're going to go ahead and add our erythritol, our lemon juice, and our vanilla extract. So go ahead and beat this all together and then we'll move on to the cream. And now you'd think that you'd have to kind of beat whip the cream separately, but I have tried both ways, going in and whipping the cream separately and folding it into this mixture. And then I've also tried it this way, which is go ahead and pour your cream in there and beat it until it's double in volume. It works great this way, so why dirty another bowl? So go ahead and beat this on high speed until you're double in volume and your mousse is all done. So let's go for it and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, you'll know when it's ready, when it forms nice soft peaks like that and they stand up. That's when you know your cheesecake mousse is ready to go in the refrigerator. I'm gonna pop this in the refrigerator, but I'm gonna come back in a minute with a serving and I'm gonna show you what that looks like, just so you can get an idea. But this is how easy it is to make cheesecake mousse. Our sugar-free cheesecake mousse is all ready to enjoy. I've layered it with a mixture of strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. This is super simple to make. Make sure you let it set up in the fridge for a little while. I didn't do it this time. I just went ahead and I prepared this for you so I could show it to you. But when you refrigerate it, the consistency gets really thick and, and delicious, like the consistency of that that no-bake cheesecake pie that you make in the graham cracker crust, and it's positively delightful. Okay, we're gonna go over all the ingredients for our double chocolate mug cake. This is the perfect dessert for two in the evening when you're, you know, sitting down to watch a movie or you're just relaxing with your sweetheart. This uh, is like a quarter cup all the way across of um, most of the major ingredients. So a quarter cup of almond flour, a quarter cup of, this is organic cacao powder, you can use cocoa powder, a quarter cup of sweetener. This is erythritol sweetener. It looks exactly like sugar and it tastes exactly like sugar. A quarter cup of melted butter, two eggs, a quarter cup of heavy cream, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of sugar-free chocolate chips. And this is so easy to make. I usually, when I make this in the evening for Rick and I, I you just mix it all up. So you can, I like to mix all the dry ingredients together. Give this a whisk, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do our eggs. and our heavy cream, and we add our vanilla extract. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give this a good whisk before we add our butter in there. Now that that's somewhat incorporated, I'm gonna add the butter, and your batter is all finished. Now we're just gonna divide this between two mugs. I also like to use the uh, one cup ramekins that I have on hand. You just divide this evenly. Half goes in there, half goes in here. So I'm gonna do, uh, half of the chocolate chips in each one. And these are gonna just bake right on in there. It's gonna be delicious. 
we're gonna pop these in the microwave and the time is between one and two minutes. It depends on the strength of your microwave. Mine is 1100 watts. So I know that this is gonna take two minutes in my microwave. Now, you're gonna wanna watch this. Your cake is going to rise precariously like it's going to cook over the top, but it's not. And then it's going to fall back down. When it is ready, when the top is no longer moist, or to the touch, it's not wet, and you can stick a toothpick in there and it's gonna be dry in the middle, just like the cakes that you bake in the oven. So I'm gonna pop these in the microwave and I'll be right back and I'll show you what they look like. All right, our muck cakes came out of the microwave and they're perfectly done. They don't look that pretty, but you're gonna cover this up with some um, unsweetened whipped cream or some whipped cream that has been sweetened with um, some erythritol and vanilla extract, or in my case, some whipped cream that's been sweetened with sugar-free Tarani. Just like that. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's beautiful. That is a delicious double chocolate mug cake that you can enjoy any time. It goes together super fast and it really is delicious. All right, we're gonna go over all of the ingredients for our cannoli fluff dessert. This is a low carb recipe. This is like the filling in a cannoli without the crispity crunchity outside. And honestly, you're not gonna miss it because really the whole purpose of eating a cannoli in my opinion is the creamy filling. So we're gonna start off by softening one eight ounce brick of cream cheese. And then we're gonna use a cup of ricotta cheese. This is a whole milk ricotta. We're gonna need a cup of heavy whipping cream and we're gonna need one third of a cup of sweetener. Now this is Swerve Confectioner's Erythritol and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is the sweetener I'm using. This is an erythritol sweetener that is powdered like confectioner's sugar. But you can use any kind of sweetener that you like. We have found that we like this one as well. This is the Splenda Naturals. It's a blend of erythritol and stevia. This you can actually get in the grocery store and I highly recommend it. We're gonna flavor this up with some vanilla extract and either some orange extract if you have it, or uh, in my case, I'm gonna be using the Fiori di Sicilia. This is a specialty item. I get it from King Arthur Flower, and I this four ounce bottle is probably, oh, at least eight years old, and uh, worth every penny. If you're using the Fiori di Sicilia, you're going to use about an eighth of a teaspoon. If you're using orange extract, you can use a full teaspoon of orange extract. We're going to add about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. This is fine ground Himalayan pink salt. You can use whatever salt you like. We're gonna top this off with some toasted nuts. I have a combination here of toasted slivered almonds and pistachios. You can use what you like. And since a lot of cannoli has chocolate in it, we're gonna be sprinkling some sugar-free chocolate chips on the top of the fluff. So we're gonna go ahead and get started mixing up our cannoli fluff dessert. All right, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and get your hand mixer out. We're going to go ahead and whip up the cream cheese until it's light and fluffy. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our ricotta cheese, our sweetener, and our salt, and we're gonna beat that together. All right, now we're gonna put our flavorings in. So there goes our tablespoon of vanilla extract, and I'm gonna be using the Fiore di Sicilia, so I'm gonna use about an eighth of a teaspoon. And what I like to do is have some of it pour right into the, the cap, because this is very, very potent and uh, if you put too much in there, it just tastes super bitter. This is a combination of vanilla extract and orange oil, so that gives you an idea of how potent that can be. And we're gonna go ahead and blend this up. All right, now we've beaten together all of our ingredients here. We're gonna set this aside for a moment, and I'm gonna go ahead and whip up this heavy cream in a separate bowl, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna mix everything together and watch the magic happen and create our cannoli fluff. Okay, I got the cream and it's been whipped to stiff peaks. You don't wanna to go too far with it though because you don't wanna turn it into butter. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this in here. And now we're gonna fold the whipped cream into the cheese mixture. Just go down into the middle and 
pull it up from the outside. And this is gonna lighten everything up and turn it into a somewhat mousse-like consistency and it will be really lovely and it will be so satisfying and delicious to have for a sweet treat at the end of the day. Just make sure you get it well incorporated. You don't wanna see any obvious streaks of just plain whipped cream. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and get some serving dishes and we're gonna divide this up and then we'll get ready to top it and serve it. All right, we got our cannoli fluff all served up. I'm just showing you two servings today. I'm gonna put the rest of the uh, mixture into an airtight plastic container and just put it in the fridge. That way I can serve it up as we need to eat it. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to sprinkle some toasted nuts on the top of each one. And like I said, I'm using a combination of pistachios and delivered almonds. You can use whatever you have on hand but when you get cannoli, generally, you're going to have either or almonds or pistachios. So I thought, why not do both? Because right. I had them on hand. And now we're gonna do about a teaspoon of these sugar-free chocolate chips, and you're good to go. There you have it. Our cannoli fluff dessert is all ready to serve. I guarantee you, if you love cannoli, you're gonna love this.